Welcome to Watch, React, and Evaluate Class of 24. Today we're taking a look at Trevor Jackson, one of the highly ranked quarterbacks in the class. But before we break him down, quick word from our sponsor. Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. He is six foot three, 190 pounds, goes to Jones High School in Orlando, Florida. He is a four-star according to the On3 Industry Rankings, the 16th best quarterback in the class, and the 34th best player in the state of Florida. Trevor Jackson has just recently dropped his top four, which includes Oklahoma, UCLA, Texas A&M, and Ole Miss. As you can see, according to the recruiting prediction machine, Ole Miss is clearly in the lead at 97.8%. Trevor Jackson, Coach Hayes about to see if you could take the Orlando Jones Tigers to the mountaintop. You about to get WRE, my man, and ranked. Let's get it. All right, let's get this thing going real quick. You see this whole resume up here about West Orange, but he has transferred to Orlando Jones High School. Let's get this thing rocking, man. I'm trying to tell you, you got all type of stuff up here. I'll let y'all pause it and read it. But let's rock, man. Let's see what he's talking about. Come on, baby. Pause it. Let's go. Let it ride, baby. Uh, that's how you drop a dime, man. Knee through that with ease. No pressure. Look at that. Drop the dime in there. Loving it. Let's go. Good pocket presence. Hey, here's what I love about it, right? He sees the pressure, he feels it breaking down. Boom, finds his escape route and hits the gas. Let's go. Got enough wheels to take it to the crib? Uh, for the tub, baby. Yes, sir. Great pocket presence on that play right there, man. Ooh, that's a little risky, baby, and I'm loving it. What I like about it is, guess what? I see this guy underneath, but I'm going to give it just enough air to go right over his head, right? And throw it right there to the sticks. Great job right there. Great touch. That's something you don't see a lot of in football anymore. Hail Mary to win the game. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm loving it. Now, I can't say how strong this guy's arm is. Let's see where he throws this ball. So he's on the 35-yard line, right? And the ball gets to the, I give him the five. I give him the five. So 15, 45, that's 60 yards. I take it. 60 yard throw. Hey, got to win the game any way you can, baby. I know West Orange is hot about this. Great throw right here. I love the velocity he gives on it, right? Right? A lot of people throw it up and kind of make it a jump ball. But look at the kind of velocity he gives to this. I mean, look how fast it's moving. Here's the ball right here. It's up in there. So guess what? The DB doesn't even have time to kind of turn and really defend. He's got to defend more of the man than he can the ball. Great ball, ball placement so far. I, I'll say this, right? So far as, you know, given my pros and cons, he has great ball placement so far as we look through this film. Mechanically stepping into this, he's not really doing it. So it's showing he has a lot of good arm strength. But as he'll learn, see, watch. And again, I, I, I want to be very clear when I say this. Sometimes as quarterbacks, you got to just throw these balls like this. But you want to try to make it a habit where you can stick it in there. But he's got excellent ball placement, man. <laughs> I love his presence. He feels it. Let me slide away. Still deliver this rock. Mmm. That takes some trust there, baby. Come on, QB. Yeah, see, my God. But look at the flick of the wrist, right? Doesn't really panic. He keeps himself, slides up in the pocket, no pressure. Boom, and delivers. Like, you can't throw this ball any better. Outstretched arm, ball right over the top. The receiver doesn't have to reach out, lose his balance. Keep going. Great job, man. Tight rope in the sideline. Oh, my goodness. I have to say this, Trevor Jackson. 
this, this is great touch. And what I like is, let's see this. You don't see a lot of quarterbacks in high school looking guys off. A lot of guys staring guys down. You're going to see the little slant with the wheel route coming here. So he has to trust that this route is going to be open. Why? Because his eyes are focused to this side to keep the safeties out the way. Boom. Then he turns back. He sees it. And he lets it ride. Throws it right on time, man. Great job. Let's go, two. Let's go, two. They're like them Osceola Cowboys. Huh? And I pretty much know a lot of these teams. I'm in the area. I'm in Orlando. I've called a lot of these games. You know, I do the color commentary for these games, man. Golly. So I've seen him play live. Here's the deal. Here's what I'll say about this rollout, right? Again, he's going to the left. That's what we call against the grain. He's a right-handed quarterback. So in order for him to make this throw, he's got to flip his hips, right? Look at the hip flip right here. Enough. Got it. plenty of arm to throw it in there on the line. A lot of guys don't have that, knowing that you're about to get hit, right? Delivering this ball, dropping it in there. Man, I'm telling you, I don't know which school going to get this guy, but whoever does, boy, they got a, they got a nice, nice quarterback. Look at him. Well, you getting surgical with it, Jake. Love the pocket presence. Extend the play. The longer quarterbacks can extend plays, the harder it is to cover. But again, look at the ball placement, man. You know how many guys won't, won't throw this ball in high school? You know how many guys will not throw this ball in high school? Look at this. They will not. They consider that covered in high school. But in college, that's open. That's really open if you would have saw that. Look at that. That's really open. But I get it. I ain't mad at him. That's tough. Come on, Trevor. <laughs> he got so much arm strength, you know, in the sense of these intermediate kind of balls. And it, I, I love the way he's, where he places the football. That's huge right there. Come on. I'm going to let some of these play. I want to get into some, some tough throw. Let's see what the back of this highlight look like a little bit. Come on with it. Whew. So here's what I like. See the pattern. Don't show a, a middle of the field safety. One pops up late, but he sees he's got enough space, throws it. But he gives it enough air. If he threw it on the line, if he threw the ball on the line, it should be picked. But the safety undercuts it. Too late, too bad. Touchdown for the good guys. Bro, this dude just throwing dimes out here, man. I would love to see some more intermediate throws, slant balls, and things like that. Everything I've been seeing so far, you know, about 20 plus yards, man. But they wide open. You can't get mad at that stuff. Skip to the next play. He's around taking him to the crib. Come on. Man. Come on, receiver. No, he ain't finna score for this, is he? No. Listen, I'm done with it. Let's get into your rankings. Trevor Jackson, I think you definitely have what it takes to get the Orlando Jones Tigers to the state and win a championship. Size, gold chip, 6'3", 190, I think is the perfect size going in to college at the Power 5 level. By the time you get in the weight room and they're eating properly, you'll probably play around that 205 range, maybe 210. Speed, gold chip, I think you do just enough to get a first down. You definitely can extend the play. I love the way you play within the pocket and you extend plays. It puts more pressure on the guys on the back end trying to cover those wide receivers. So one thing about it, you know, you don't got concrete in your cleats, but you definitely can keep the plays going and you can move the sticks when the play breaks down. Effort, gold chip. As a quarterback, these are always hard to rank, right? You're throwing the ball out there, but I think you do a great job delivering the rock. I think you do a great job in the effort of, like I say, extending plays, having pocket presence, knowing when to move shift and slide to keep the play alive fundamentals and technique gold chip i think you do a great job when it comes to placing the football 
mechanically, a couple of things that need to be worked on and tweaked out, but you'll get, get that definitely at the next level. Here's what I will say. You rely on a lot of arm strength, okay? You gotta be able to work on the mechanics of the hips and the torque and the legs and foot placement. All of that right there helps to throw the ball because at the next level, that defense is moving extremely fast. You don't wanna get them roped off. Intangibles gold chip. I think you do just enough to keep the team alive. Like I said, you're the quarterback, the face of the program. Your players trust you. Your players know that. Guess what? This team doesn't move without you, and that's exactly what you're doing, being a leader out there on the gridiron. Continue to do that, and trust me, they will follow you to the promised land. Overall, Trevor Jackson, you are a gold chip athlete when it comes to Coach A's football. I can't wait to see what you're going to do at Jones High this year. So for those four fan bases out there, you better stay tuned to August 26th when he makes his commitment. Will it be Oklahoma, UCLA, Texas A&M, or Ole Miss? But whatever it is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you have all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And rep your team in the chat. You might be able to sway his decision. Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.